Hello there everyone, my name is Clink and welcome back to Pikmin 2 Cables Edition. Let's get off of this area select screen pretty quickly because this lag is atrocious. And believe me, it's not just because I'm recording. Um, th this happens when I'm, mainly when I'm playing 251, that lags a lot. Okay, so I see the, uh, the cushion thing and we're not gonna have to dig that up at least. Looks like the bulb orbs are still the same. So I don't know how many treasures there are going to be in this, but it looks like they put up white and blue. Looks like they put a lot of treasures in each area, so uh, white and blue Pikmin, though, that is nuts. And was that just my game lagging or something? So if we're going to get whites and blues today, then... Okay, it's either just been a while since I've played Pikmin 2, or the rush boots are faster than normal. I can't tell which of the two it is, guys, guys. I don't need you to do this. We are hurrying over to get the other Pikmin types because that means that all types will be unlocked. Is the Honey Whisper here? Awesome, awesome, okay. All types being unlocked means we can get every treasure, which means a one day awakening wood is theoretically possible. Uh, but I am bad at the game, so that's definitely not gonna happen. Okay, so... No, 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 I don't want more Pikmin, I... I, I just want... New Pikmin types. So... Looks like the... Spider warts are still gonna be here. I'm probably gonna try to get a, a, at least one Ultra Spicy Spray by end of day. It's probably a really good idea. So what I'll do, I think, is once this is down, we're gonna assume, hopefully, that there's not a poison wall blocking the blue onion. <gasps> breadbug! Oh, okay. Change of plans, we're killing breadbug. We are killing the breadbug. I have to do that first instead. Not this wall's down. Uh, but the burrow in it, right? That's probably a more important thing to take out. Okay. Breadbug! Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Uh-oh. The, the bread bug is just too distracting. <laughs> I guess I'll make the chrysanthemum go away. I saw its eye just flashing as the bread bug went over there. I was like, no, I don't want to throw one over there. Oh, no. I actually don't really know how to fight chrysanthemums without purples. I'm being completely honest. Okay. No, 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 okay. Actually, it's probably a good idea to fight it right now, now that I think about it. So let's see if I can do it. Uh-oh, that's not good. Just throw more at it, probably gonna lose a few. I lost one red, all right, fine. But that's not the uh, the problem because what we really want is this. So let's also do this and then grab the yellows because... No, 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 why are you guys doing that? You jerks, you stupid red Pikmin. Okay, fine, we'll just, we'll just stick our whites on to whatever I please. And then we'll knock this bag down? Yeah. I'm gonna say, surely you don't need like 90 for this. And is there really not five on this? Oh, because they're going after the gas pipe. I see. Uh, you should not be a problem whatsoever. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot of pelipes. I didn't even think about the fact that he was gonna drop a lot too. Uh, let's put everyone over here, grab the yellows only. Okay, this is all 20 of the yellows I had. Oh my gosh, we're already like almost a quarter of the way into the day. So I learned you could do this only recently. You can just bring the yellows across like this and pretty, pretty easily get to, um, I'm gonna lose a yellow here. That's fine. Or did I lose two? No, it's only one. Okay. Then we can go on ahead and get that going down. And then pluck a phone. I forgot I had that already. That's the greatest thing to ever exist. One, two, three, four. 
more whites. Awesome. And we can get these grown. I should probably stop growing whites pretty soon. Like, I think I'm going to have almost enough now. Uh, yeah, let's actually stop there. And I can probably go on ahead and get rid of a wall over here if I had to guess. Oh, it's a firewall now. Okay. Windows Defender Firewall right here. Although, there's not really much reason to get rid of this one other than to travel around faster. And is the other one not done yet? Okay, so it still takes a little bit with only blues. I guess we can see if I can do anything with uh, whites over this way. Might be a poison wall still. Yeah, okay. We're gonna head and knock this down then. Because I would say that getting the perplexing pool unlocked would be a pretty good goal for today. The reds are done. Yeah. I don't think there's anything over here. No, so it looks like just where the chance totem was before. But since we can get blues today anyway, I'll just knock down that wall that you would need them for, so that's not really an issue. Awesome, sounds like that's done. Oh, I forgot I had Louie over here, so I don't have anyone with the yellows right now. So Olimar can grow blues, Louie can do whatever he wants to. Go cause chaos, commit a few more war crimes like he normally does, whatever. Are there more blue pellets over here as well? I might not even need to kill the wog poles. I feel like this part has been like non-stop so far. <laughs> I feel like my brain's had to think about 10 different things at once. But uh, I like it, it's so fast paced. I'm, I'm never going to complain about it being really fast paced because if there's anything I hate, it's really slow pacing. Is this a treasure? Okay, it is. Yeah. Just want to make sure if there's a treasure here still. We need at least enough blues to carry that back and then knock down the wall. Uh, where the Wallywogs normally are is the question of if I'll be able to get to that today. I doubt it, but we're gonna try. Uh, that's probably already gonna get us up to 100 in the field. But I can try to kill the log poles, maybe. Uh, looks like I might get this one. Uh, it's whatever. I don't want to waste too much time trying to kill them. Uh, how many blues is that? 18? That sounds right. Oh, please tell me I actually have enough blues for the potato here. If not, we'll sprout a few more. And the wall's done? Yep, wall is done. Let's actually... Oh, hey, the treasure radar. That's neat. Okay, there is enough. And... Uh, they should have a clear path? Back to ship, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Okay, there is a chrysanthemum right here. Let's throw this down. Bring it up. Come on, do your little. Okay, I didn't want you to eat anything though. But hey, I mean, it'll, it'll take out a large portion of its health bar. Yes, because white Pikmin are poisonous game. Thank you. Uh oh. Why? Oh, he didn't need anything. Come on, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Yes! Okay. I'm gonna assume that this is gonna take 40 to carry, just like the other one did. And then we're gonna get the blues uh, over here. I can sprout more blues and whites tomorrow because I think that would be a lot better. Honestly, it just sounds like a good idea because 
the blue and white onions being all over the place today makes it to where I don't really want to sprout too many of them. I just realized it's probably not a good idea to have both of them over here, but by the time this gets built anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. No, I'm gonna run around. <laughs> I don't care. I, I want the blues on that wall as soon as possible so I can find out if the, um... I forgot about Breadbug. <laughs> the chrysanthemum earlier made me just entirely forget about Breadbug. I'm sorry, Breadbug. I'm so sorry. We got our, uh, our potato. And... Okay, so I have 18 blues. Let's just split, grab. Okay, so we need to get rid of this. I also love how if you just come into this already knowing Pikmin 2, you can just play this really, really quickly. That's great. So this will be 40? I think that's how much the other one was. Yeah. Um. Oh, right, you only have to break the rock to drain the water. You don't have to break the wall. I always forget about that. Okay, um... The treasure radar. Please don't take all that many. Of course, you take 35 and I only have 33. So we're not getting the treasure radar today, it looks like. <laughs> Unless I do this. Uh, oh, what am I doing? These guys aren't dead. <laughs> that was not smart at all. Uh, we give Louie a few Pikmin to help him out. Okay. Louie, you get extras. 39, that is enough. But do we have enough time is the question. Okay. Swap. Red bug's not doing anything, so we're fine. Oh, that's a treasure. Guess the strawberry's still in the same spot. Might as well try and grab it. Oh, will I get to the chance totem? That is the question. But hey, at least perplexing pool's unlocked. Although I suspect that will be on day six. Um and why is this not letting me skip past her? Just because I, I think I'm going to complete Valley of Repose tomorrow, Awakening Wood on day five. Oh, this only took three before, did it not? Or did it always take five? And I'm just thinking of Pikmin 3. Uh, right, there was a treasure over here too. Uh, I'll get that later though. So there's one inside the bulb orb still. Looks like there's a lot at the Snagret Hole area. That's the treasure radar coming back. So we just need to break this down. Um, I don't know why they took such a long route on the treasure radar, but they should make it back in time without too much trouble, I hope. Oh yeah, easily. I think that'll still give me enough time to grab uh, an ultra spicy spray, I think. Because I want at least one just in case I find like a boss while I'm wandering around. Which I'm sure I'm going to have to fight a burrowing snaggert up where the snaggert hole was. I'm just hoping it's not he who shall not be named because I don't want to say his name. I hate that boss. Uh... Yeah, yeah, game, I do know that there's treasure nearby, surprisingly. Let's, let's see if I can get this. Sunseed Berry, so we're already almost at 50%. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, just get these guys to climb up here to get my berries. And then... We're not going to get to that electric fence today. Okay, so it's still the chance totem, and I notice that is not uh, bitter berries. So I'm wondering if those were removed in this hack. 
but that's also fine for this scenario because it means I can get an ultra spicy spray faster. So I'm not too bothered about it. So what all do I have to do? Um, Ball Black's Kingdom area and Snagger Hole area? Sounds about right. Pretty typical of Pikmin 2. Let's get a few more on here. Just to speed it up even more. I guess that's our first berry getting back, too. That's the, that's the only problem I'm having so far, is uh, if there was a way to skip all these uh, tutorials, I would love to be able to do it. Um, just because, you know, anyone that's played Pikmin 2 before is really gonna just wanna fly right through things. Like, I know Pick Hacker figured out how to make the treasure screen not pop up with, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Colossal Caverns? Is this just gonna infinitely grow? Or something? No, okay. I, ju I just think I didn't have enough chicken on there or something. We need to make sure we get everything back in our party. I still don't have a spray. I'm starting to worry. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Alright. At least, uh, at least nothing's been too crazy hard so far. This is this is exactly what I wanted it to be, though. It just, it's just just feels like Pikmin One, where I'm trying to like rush through, uh, do everything as fast as I possibly can. I could see myself playing through this several times, just to see if I can get a lower day count, because Awakening Wood in a single day is definitely possible. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to get that today, so we'll just go on ahead and go to sunset. That's crazy, though. Yeah, I've always wanted to play, uh, you know, like, a, a, I, I don't want to say a true sequel to Pikmin 1, because Pikmin 3 is pretty close to that, but, you know, uh, Pikmin 3, uh, you really don't have to get a lot of the collectibles, while in Pikmin 1 you do. And I'm sure that the whole, and Pikmin 2's like true ending is getting all the collectibles, so I'm assuming we're gonna get that ending when we collect all the surface treasures, so I think this is something really, really fun to play. That is everything we're gonna get done today. Looks like the males are still the same so far, from what I can tell. So I think, I think it's pretty much just the overworld stuff. I don't think there's a challenge mode. I know a lot of ROM hacks like to do custom challenge modes. But uh, we unlock the perplexing pool, it looks like. Uh, but I'm going to end this part here, and I'll see you guys next time where we'll finish up the Valley of Repose. Bye-bye.